Всем привет! This is the Blind School Channel. My name is Anna. I'm a professional Russian tutor, and today we'll look at the fourth reason of using prepositional case. The rule goes like this: after preposition "o", we have to use prepositional case. "O" means about. The common verbs, the actions that often goes with "o", are думать "o", мечтать "o", говорить "o", рассказывать "o". Читать о, смотреть о. Let me make some sentences with this word so you could see the context. Я много думаю о лете. The word лето, самое, we have to change for лете because it goes after о and it has to follow the rules of prepositional case. Я мечтаю о большом доме. Дом is a house and we change it for доме because it goes after о. Большой we change for большому, because this is the table of how you have to change the adjectives in prepositional case. Дом is a masculine word, so we follow the rules of the masculine. Я говорю о тебе. Я говорю о тебе. Тебе, this is a pronoun. We form it from the word ты. And this is the table of how we change pronouns in prepositional case. Ты is changed for тебе. Я читаю о детях. Дети, it's a plural word. So we follow the rules of the prepositional plural. And we change it for детях. Я читаю о детях. And the last example. Я смотрю о природе. Я смотрю о природе. Природа is changed for природе because it goes after о. Time for the exercise. You can see some sentences and you need to add о and change the ending. You can pause the video, do it yourself, and we are going to check it together in 3, 2, 1. Наш преподаватель рассказывает нам о Петербурге. Мы выучили стихи о зиме. Наш хор на вечере пел песню о мире. По телевизору я видел интересный фильм о Эрмитаже. Я давно мечтал о профессии врача. И я из changed for и профессия профессии. Он написал рассказ о друге. Мы читаем текст о космонавте. We looked at the main functions of prepositional case. If you haven't watched other videos about cases, you can check them now. I always try to explain grammar in a simple way. Good job with learning Russian. Keep going. See you in the next episode. Пока-пока.